guys and welcome back to the OMA channel spider dearest hello guys and welcome back in today's video we're going to be discussing our fifth member of you know power rangers dino fury cosmic fury and that person went through a bunch of music acting throughout the show and a music um artistry in life which is chance perez aka is uh javi garcia now, let's be talking about this character, because this character went through a lot in Dino Fury Cosmic Fury, especially Cosmic Fury for most, because he went through a huge sacrifice. So, as we all know, so Javi Garcia is a musician. A musician. Now, throughout Season 1, what's up with Dino Fury's, uh, the description for Javi's character? So, quick facts before we get deeper dive with this character information. So, Javi Garcia is a musician, as, um, as we all know, but also it's the sepsis of Izzy Garcia, which we talked about in our last video. Both those two were found in the uh, fourth episode of New Recruits. That's where their first big episode as you know when they first started their own um dino fury show um they went through a whole getting to find the ranger keys discovering the mysterious or try to get their powers and stuff like that but at the end of the day it's like you turn to the black and the green rangers which you already done i mean that's at least progression finding new recruits for the team which is pretty outstanding so that's at least you know that's good but anyways let's get to uh, let's get to uh what javi's background is for his character so javier javi garcia is a musician and a step brother of izzy who becomes the second dino fury black ranger and the second black ranger of the dino fury rangers yes so this is the one that we want to talk about in this video so let's get to the key facts of you know what happened after that first episode of you know Javi. So new recruits has been um, found with the two black rangers is recruited to the Dino Fury Rangers. The missing keys were lost and they both turned to the black and green rangers. All right. And then that episode after that, we see in episode seven, the Stego search where, you know, um, Javi's around City Park and Pine Ridge and he's like playing his new keytar he brought from the store. And it's like the warden finds out that Javi's like playing m music, right? Because it's like warden doesn't approve it but javi is because he is a musician he wants to try out brand new instruments but then the warden takes away from his guitar for like there's gotta be a legit reason for that but the warden wouldn't say but he just walks away with the guitar and then just embarrass his son in front of everyone and it was recorded on live so that was a deja vu right there and then we get to see uh javi open like unlocking his zord for the first time which is the stego zord now with this uh the flute he he still keeps in his pocket he uses that flute to unlock the stego zord which is i feel like it was pretty charming and then at the end of the video it's like Zato, Amelia, and Ollie surprise Javi with a gift. Now that gift was getting that keytar, you know, because they kind of so they kind of feel bad after watching the tape of the warden steals the uh keytar from Javi, which was a misconception, but it goes down the line where they need to like the warden needs to face the facts that Javi's a musician, but he won't accept it because, you know, I don't think the warden trusts Javi to play music. But you guys will see that probably when I talk about next season in the episode jam session. Because this episode, it's like, brings a lot of facts between the Warden and Javi. So, the Warden's been focusing on protecting Pine Ridge. But while that, um, there was a ceremony that his, um, that Javi wants to attend. But even though Javi does not want to attend that session. But instead, he was rocking out with one of his people. I think it's what? I think his name was Blaze? I'm not sure. I forgot his name was. But that guy was the Screaming Zombies in that episode which is uh jam session um they just battle out they said i'm 17 don't bother me which was one of the songs that was cool rock and catchy song i kind of appreciate like i like that song actually but um it was a catchy song and then um the warden finds out that javi's playing music instead of coming to a session which is the the answer to this question why he did it now the warden's like dude why did you blew me off like i had a big moment and then javi's like you know what forget about this if you don't appreciate me then how am i supposed to be trusting you then like javi storms off and then it's like jane is showing warden his big moment as uh, his performance 
And then Warden just changes his mind saying that, you know what? If this is your passion, you must keep it. I will follow you every step of the way. And just forget what about said. Just keep moving on. And I appreciate you. So that's pretty much caring for whatever the warden mistakes and that he kind of truly changed after he saw Javi's performance, which was a pretty charming moment. And then it, this is lead towards the copycat episode when Javi speaks about Spotlight, which I think that was the best thing to have his character beat against another person who kind of used his song on purpose. That kind of teaches a valuable lesson with getting to know the new instruments to beat one person with a life amount of skills and also in that episode that's when he uh hobby turns into the zato um dino knight armor and i kind of feel like that episode was pretty unique to see two red rangers battling out i was not hoping to see that but then i realized it's like oh th this guy know what he's doing but i, I kind of like to see that one happening and then an episode, I think it is the Wishful Thinking episode, if I'm correct, which is episode 16. Apparently, Javi gets to see Pete Flash in that episode. If Yep, I get his name correctly. So, in Pete Flash episode with Javi, it's like Javi's like getting so many views after his um, Sunshine song. I'm going to call it a Sunshine song because um, that's probably like one of the words I heard. But it's like he gets so many views, but he gets not much not not much of views because that lo bad luck monster who just gave him bad luck which was a very catchy episode that doesn't involve anything with good luck which is kind of the answer to the problem but as we know the end of the day it's like you know getting to know the new guy and also sharing some music it's a it's a miracle so i at least find it very interesting but yeah, but Evan, that's pretty much the end of uh, Javi's stuff, I believe. But and then we get down to the line where Javi and Kazakh Fury um, in the first episode. So, so as soon as Zato and Gavra's crew to go to Lord Zornia um, or Planet Zordia, yep, uh, that's where the battle starts. Zato's gone, Evan, the Rangers are gone, but they're trying to unlock that stone stuff from that zone swords, not the stone swords, uh, zone swords. But the thing is, it's like. Javi mainly used the sacrifice, used the saber, crack and open with that stone barrier, and then just the lightning started to happen, and then his arm came off. Like, oh my lanta. It's like, damn, you just lost half of your arm, bro. And you lost your hand, which is not a good sign. But he mainly survived, and then apparently the Zords came out from that time portal, and he unlocked the Zords. Then down in the line that he's a cosmic free Black Ranger and gets an arm, like a, a robotic tech arm that kind of like that Solon made that's like pretty interesting, but I think it's also Rafconian tech. But and then at the end of Cosmic Fury, I get to see we get to see him say made uh sing the May Power to Protect You, which I feel like that's a pretty good song. So um that's all I can say for this video. And what are you guys are thinking? Let me know in the comments. Until next video, we'll be discussing our sixth member, which is Jordan Fight, aka Ion. And I think you guys are gonna like the next video. So keep that notification bell in touch and just remember. And just don't forget to subscribe. And remember, it's only just a theory. A film theory! Thanks for watching. And thanks for watching, guys. And just want to keep uh, keep an eye out for those notifications. And to just see you guys in the next video. And cut!